This is Scott Bauer from Prosper Trading Academy with your SIBO vol 411. Total option volume yesterday, very light, about 33.5 million contracts, almost 25% below recent averages, and total put call ratio was under 1 to 1 at 0.92 to 1. SPY traded 5.7 million contracts and had about a 1.28 to 1 put call. SPX, 2 million contracts and 1.8 to 1 put call ratio. VIX, though, VIX traded 650,000 contracts and just a 0.22 to 1 put call ratio, or roughly four and a half times the amount of calls traded that puts traded yesterday. Now, that is vastly different from what I pointed out last Monday when we saw puts outpacing calls at about two to one. VIX approaching its 50-day moving average down around 26 and a half, and it has been crossing into backwardation over the last month or so, and now is basically flat across the timeline. May is around 26.80, June 27.40, July 28.5. During last week's intense sell-off, it could not break through the 36 area, which has been a level of major resistance. Whereas the VIX measures at the money options to calculate the expected range of movement in the S&P 500 index with a one standard deviation probability or normal distribution, the SKU measures out of the money options to calculate tail risk or a black swan event. And the SKU generally ranges from 100 to 150, where the higher the rating, the higher the perceived chance of one of those outlying moves. Well, outside of the end of March, the skew has been steady right in the middle of the range, which also is not really signifying extreme market risk at the moment, at least from that measurement. On the equity side yesterday, Tesla traded 1,100,000 contracts, 53% on the call side. Apple just under that and 53% on the call side. And the volume leaders yesterday, the Apple May 20th 150 calls traded 80,000 times and the Tesla May 800 calls traded 65,000 times. This is Scott Bauer from Prosper Trading Academy with your SIBOVAL 411.